everyone, Rhonda here uh, with Cali Girl Crafts and Hauls, and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Actually, it's a very large Dollar Tree haul. It's two, uh, two different stores, and I only went to them because I was looking, I want a quest to find my dad some of those omelets that he loves, the Jimmy Dean um, cheese omelets. And I found some at the second store. So, anyways, hope everybody's doing great. It's a Wednesday evening, and it's been chilly here. We've only been in the 40s, so it's starting to get cool. So, anyways, let's jump into this haul. I found my ribbon. I have been waiting patiently for them to get their Christmas ribbon in. And I've seen everyone hauling this, so yeah, we finally got some in, so I love it. And it's all the different colors, the Christmas colors. Yes, there is the truck ribbon, if you're loving the truck. There it is. Here's the plaid, red plaid. Let's see, I think it's some little littler ribbon. This is the first time I've seen this size that is a uh, wire ribbon at ours anyways for the holidays. They had this color and it's really pretty with the candy cane design on, well, stripes. And then they had the Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm upside down, sorry. Merry Christmas and yeah, there it is. Don't mind that one. He's, he's photobombing us. Let's see, oh, here's some more, here's some more ribbon. I got the gnomes, aren't these just cute? Look at that. I just love this ribbon. Can't you tell? Oh, this size again, and then the ho, ho, ho. So, in the red. And then, let's see, I think I showed you pretty much all of them. Oh, nope, not this size one. This one's the ho, ho, ho too. I'm sorry, he's upside down. The Santa. Yeah, so, I mean, you can make any type of a bow or anything. You can put these on your Christmas tree. They are just pretty for any type of decorations. So, oh, and then this one. I thought that was very pretty. And I noticed with Dollar Tree the last few years, they have been color coordinating their, their ribbons. So, look at that. They all go together. So, yep, you can decorate with their ribbons for a dollar. It's nine feet, and it is all wired. So, wired ribbon for me is the best. If I'm going to do any wired ribbon, I will do it. So, there we go, girls. And guys, there's a ribbon at Dollar Tree. Christmas ribbon's out. I hope you get some. I did find, uh-oh, my puppy dog is screaming at us. In the Christmas section there again, these pretty little candy cane garlands, the wire garlands. I just thought those were so cute. Got that one, and then I got this one with the little snowflakes. Isn't it pretty? And it's so pretty, just festive. You can use this all the way up until spring, so for decorating. Then I found, I did kind of go crazy, the Believe, the big star, um, star, <laughs> Believe. And I love it with the little red check bow. I'm not gonna even do anything different with it. I'm just keeping it like that. These would be really neat to stagger in your tree. Yes, they would. Along with that buffalo plaid, red plaid, ribbon. I was so happy because I found these on a haul, or not a haul, on a, I was watching a haul, and I believe it was Crafty Girl. Crafty Girl Vlogs, I believe. She has the little dough ornaments, and these, I was hoping and hoping we would get them, but look at them. Are they not cute? They are adorable for a dollar. I have always bought Dollar Tree dough ornaments when years ago. Years ago they came out with them too. So, And so does Dollar General once in a while. 
So yeah, I had they they had these. I'm not sure if they have more, but I had to get them. They are too cute, guys. If you find them at your Dollar Tree, pick them up. So yes, I did. Picked up a couple packages of each of those. So you know they would be cute just to hang on the kids' gifts. You know, and your in anybody's gifts. But yeah, put on a gift. Whatever. Did find some um more signs now um of course i think i've hauled this in my last haul this one here the merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas i had to pick up another one just because i thought it was so pretty then this one i found this one is a little bit different this house is under elf surveillance and i thought that was cute super cute so i picked that one up then in that Christmas aisle, I found a sack, a gift sack. And look at how big. This is a big sack. I'm not going to open it up, but it is big enough. And it says, do not peek. It says, no peeking until Christmas. So if you have an extra large gift that you would like to wrap and, and having a hard time wrapping them, they have these out. This isn't really... It's not really cloth, but it's like that paper, heavy paper kind of cloth. It has a it has a, a drawstring tie. So yeah, for a dollar, I saw I thought I would try one this year. Why not? Then I found, of course, the tissue paper. I love all those different little looks of tissue paper. So I pick this up and I pick up the, the white too. So I am then the, you know, just have it on hand because you, you know, you never know when you're gonna need more tissue paper. I run out of tissue paper faster than anything, really. Okay, so let's see. I did find these and I thought they were so pretty. These are the white poinsettias, and they actually are um, on a clip. So you can clip them down into your Christmas tree, and oh, it would look so pretty. I, I thought those were gorgeous. Clip them on a wreath, clip them on a package. You could paint, you, you could wrap your package so pretty and put one of those on there. I thought, oh yes, I will do that. I want to pick them up because I'm pretty good at picking stuff like that up. I love that type of stuff from Dollar Tree. Let's see. I'm just going to, there's there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just grabbing bags. This one I did pick up. I found, of course, um, the wired garland ties for the tree. These work so good if you have to have extra twigs or whatever on your Christmas tree or filler. Same for this right here. These are so nice and they're 15 feet. So I picked up a few of those. Then let's see what else is down in this little baggie. Oh, this one. So pretty. Of course it goes with my believe. There's the Mary. I thought that was so pretty too. So I got the Mary and the believe. Then I had to pick up this one. I just thought he was too cute. And his plaid again. There you go. You know, for a dollar, you guys, we cannot, you know, you have to buy your, I don't really even like to spend a lot of money on ornaments. So let me tell you, and I've got a lot of ornaments, but for a dollar, I will do it. Look at this little guy. Isn't he, and he's a bell. He's, a, he's, He's on a little bell. Mm -hmm. Isn't he cute with his little stocking cap? <laughs> little gnome. I'm not even really a big gnome person, but I do thought that was super cute. Don't mind me, my ear is reaching. Somebody must be talking or thinking about me here today. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get those back in here because they're safe. <laughs> and I can put them all away and things will not be so chaotic out there. Because I've got to find spots for all this. I know everybody thinks that you have to put it. I'm a hoarder, so there I go. There's my hoarding. 
nothing but Christmas stuff. And grief making stuff. I did pick these up. I thought those were so pretty. And you know, I noticed they are not that, they are not shedding their glitter too much. So aren't those pretty? I thought, and these are really pretty to use even on your Christmas tree as picks. So you can pick them, put them down into the tree itself too. And I only found the three. So I was looking for some red ones also, or green, but I only found the three silver. So I thought, well, I'm gonna pick it up just because, you know, when you find the stuff, you almost have to pick it up because that's how it is here, especially with Dollar Tree. Then I found these in the doll, in the, right here. And right here, this one has, holds a little votive. And I, I bet that's adorable lit, but this says joy. This is a little reindeer, but I'm not gonna keep them on their stands. I have another purpose for these. So then a Santa and he's just on the regular stand. But I thought they were so cute. Then I found, of course, in the ornament aisle again, the little star. And I thought that was so pretty. It's gonna go on my, for my nativity, the star above. So these and your trees, it'll look really pretty on Christmas trees. Let's see, what else do I have in here, girls and boys? Oh, I had to pick this up. Santa's little helper. Me. Nice size coffee cup too, guys. So for hot chocolate, whatever. Coffee. I did pick up some socks. I love to throw these into like my grand's gifts, gift bags and that. These are the knee highs and I just thought they were too cute. Look at that. Little Santa with the red note Rudolph. And look at this one a little long wiener dog and a bone and I in the Christmas sweater and then they had the jingle with the flamingo jingle and the flamingo and that cute a little flamingo already for Christmas so yes I always get them a, a set of pajamas and socks because that's just me I hope I got all my bags. I don't know if I do. Then I picked up these. These are the little mini carnival pops and there's eight of them in there. And I thought if you like with a little gift bag or a gift card, these would be really cute in there too. And let's see, what else? What did I do with the other box? Here it is, excuse me. No, this isn't it either. Where did I put them? Oh well, this is more decorations and I thought these little snowmen were just too cute to leave. And they're on picks. So if you wanna put them on some sort of decoration, add them to a cute little display, flower display, that would be adorable. On a wreath, of course, that's where my mind goes. And then it's got their own little sweater. <laughs> sweater. Okay, let's see. Oh, these I've not seen before at our Dollar Trees. This is these are decorations, and they're really pretty little little um, ornaments. There's six in here, so I thought I'd pick those up for just something in case I need to add it to something. I loved this. Isn't that just adorable? I love that little church. And yes, that will go on my tree. So. I thought it was pretty. I'm gonna see if I could put it like with a light right here, with a, one of the little miniature lights to fit in here to light it up. But I just thought that was so pretty. Just, just too pretty. I'd love to have had a star on there or a cross or something. And then of course this goes with these little metal things. My little, it says Noel with the tree and the truck. And then this has the actual place to put your um, 
your tea light, but I don't think I'm going to do that with these. I'm using them for another reason. And then I ended up with the ho, ho, ho. He's so cute too. I, he, I love his little face. And then he's a tea light also, but I bet they would be cute with the tea light burning in them. I'm sure they would be. So, and then I ended up with the, another joy. So I'm hoping I have enough for what I want to do. I take them apart and I try to do like the wreaths up here with all the little metal works and stuff. So I'm hoping that I do it. But if not, that's okay too. I'll, I'll figure, I'll get some more. Hopefully one, oh no, here's the Christmas tree one too. It says Merry Christmas. Isn't that pretty? I know this one will sure be pretty lit too. So I'm gonna put them all together now so they, I can get ready to do my little project. I love doing projects. I just don't know what I did with my socks. What did I do with my socks? Oh, they're over here on the table or on the chair. Hold on just a minute and I'll be right back. Here we go. No. I know they're here somewhere. I just don't know what I, oh, I think I put them away. Yeah, for the kids already. But anyways, they're Christmas socks and they are cute. So if you guys, they've got all their little snuggadoos socks out now Christmas ones so if you're looking for any gifts to put in a gift basket or anything perfect little socks I did find these these are the little salt and pepper shakers at our Dollar Tree and I thought those were just so cute especially for Thanksgiving and and that in the fall and then I found these and I thought these were adorable too they are the little um squirrels aren't they just too cute look at that look at that salt and pepper so you know even if you stick them down in a little gift basket or even put them like get a nice pretty fall mug pretend this is fall and then maybe slide them down into you know a little like in here and take it to your hostess you know or something or put the little those would be cute in a fall mug, of course. But um, another thing too, I was thinking you could use these on a tear tray. So, you know, you don't have to use them as just salt and pepper, so. But anyways, that was my Dollar Tree haul and I hope everybody enjoyed it. I, I've been just messing around here, trying to get well, still on the mending and doing better, so. Anyways, we will uh, hopefully get back with some sort of a, of a DIY. I promise you guys I'm going to do a DIY. So, anyways, you guys take good care and have a wonderful evening. And know that this too shall pass. And know that, um, and stay, God, God bless you all. Stay blessed. And, and take good care. Till the next time. See you then. Bye-bye.